In this video, we'll be answering this question. Should I keep all the application configurations in the same SDK configuration file? Well, you don't and actually you shouldn't. There is actually a file for that and that's what we'll be looking into in this video. Okay, so here I have the NRA5 SDK. We're just starting with an example to give you, uh, you know, to let you know how that, how that works, you know, with the, with the application configuration file okay so here i have the nl5 sdk this is the version 16.0.0 yes and we have an examples folder and we're really in the billy peripheral and we'll be looking to the billy app uh, beacon project i'll be using the pca156 so subdivide is 140 and we have the tool chain is sega let's restore this one and we'll open this File here, this is a project file. This should launch the Sigur Embedded Studio. Cool. So here, as you can see here in the in the project here, we have many files. We have this application. Uh, uh, we have many folders and files. So here we have the application folder, and in this folder here we have the main .c file, and we have the SDK config.h file. So if you look into the SDK config.h file, you can see we have a lot of defini a lot of definitions that are, uh, you know, you can, as you can see, so if if not defined, so if this variable not defined, then define it and uh, set it its value. So we we have zero here for this uh, Billy advertising enabled. Okay, so for our application uh, definitions. You're gonna need to create another file. As you can see here, there is another file. See, it is app underscore config. This is for the uh, application configurations. Cool. So this file is what will is what will host all your application related configurations. So for example, your application needs uh, another uh, BD service to be activated, and you need for that you need to add uh, some definitions here. Those definitions you need to add them to this app underscore config dot h file. This file is not available in the SDK, so for that you need to create it. For that, just here, uh, just press on this one here and the mouse right click and select in the file explorer just to 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 look into where this SDK config dot h file is located. And here, as you can see, if we move back, we have a configuration folder, and in this configuration folder, we have this SDK underscore config. What we're gonna do is just copy this uh, file here, just copy it and paste it in the same directory. Uh, change its name, rename it to app underscore config dot h. And you have the file created. Close this here and in this application here, just uh, mouse right click and add existing file. Add existing file. Now move back to the S140 to the S to the configuration folder and add this app underscore config. Cool. In this app underscore config, config as we are, as we just copied, uh, copy and paste this one, we need to modify it. The easiest way is just take all this from this end F here. Now from this one, just copy from this here. Just hit Control and C. Cool. Next is Control A. We need to uh, Control at A to select all and press uh, delete to delete all. Then Control and V to press what you've uh, copied before. Now this app underscore config rename it to uh, app. Instead of SDK, you just press just uh, replace it with app here. And here you're gonna add another end if because we had if defined. So if not defined, so we're gonna need to add here end if. And of this F uh, here, and we make sure that this one is for this here. Just copy this one and paste it. And save this one. Next, to have this uh, app configuration file activated, you can need to head over to the SDK config H file here. As you can see, this one is, uh, is using a variable to uh, include this file here. So we're gonna need to Copy this variable here, just copy it, Ctrl C, and head over to project, just mouse right click, options, change this one to common, then to preprocessors, then to preprocessor definitions, open this one here, and add a new line and uh, paste it. Uh, make sure that you don't add any space here, see? 
And as you can see here in this uh, preprocessor definitions, you have many uh, definitions variables here set. Those are all uh, are used by all the by many of the the SDK uh, libraries and files. So you can see where the application this application applications use a timer the version two. We have here the the chip that the this application is for. We have the the version of the soft device Billy API. We have the soft device is 140 and we have this soft device present it means that this application uses the soft device good now press ok and press ok cool now close this uh, sdk configuration file close also this one and in the main uh, try to open the sdk configuration file here and as you can see we have this enable cool so let's do an example here so for example in the main OC file we have this uh, this application here which is a uh, the blink application BLE, BLE blink application this application here uses the BLE LBS which is the light the LED button service which is BLE LED button service so for example you want to add another service like the this which is the device information service mm, okay so to add this service here to this application the service has some some variables that need to be set. So for example, let me let me look into that service. So just uh, here, just build the service here. Let me try to add it. So just add existing file here. Just uh, head over to examples, the SDK and their components. Then Billy, then Billy services. There were this is where all the the services the Billy service available in the in, in the NRF5 SDK. So I have the build this here, and just the this the, the dot c file just add the dot c file here. Cool. Now if we enter to the dot c file here of the base service, you can see that the, all the the functions in that service are grayed, means that they are not used. This is because of this uh, NF module enabled. This build this is not enabled. That's why everything here is not. Uh, accessible to the compiler to the compiler okay so in order to activate this module here you're gonna need to just go to the sdk configuration file here and look for we get, you should not update this sdk configuration file you should not just head over to here and just uh, press ctrl f and look for this this is device device information service so hope we find it just with this one it, here it is see we have billy this enabled device information service this is what enables the, the this uh, this service here so to add that or to enable it in your application you just copy it here and in the app configuration file you're gonna just need to put pc here and then change this one here to one so it is enabled now let's try again close all but this then it also this uh, be another score this let's see file and there you go you have the functions in this service enabler and this the same for many other libraries because you know those uh, configurations here are all i mean to enable you know enable some modules which is libraries in the, in, in the sdk this uh, which, and you should enable them you know when you use them in your application and that's it Code, so you necessarily need to have this application configuration file here in your application and here you can add all the 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 the, the, the application related configurations so you, you don't touch this sdk configuration file so for example if you have an error or something else you can just check this app configuration file but the problem with this sdk configuration file is, is that is that it is there is a lot of configurations here see we have 12,000 lines here even if there are spaces here but you still have a lot of uh, definitions here see that's the problem so when you just add your configuration here so whenever something goes wrong you just check this these uh, you know these configurations here so you just because uh, you know you just change those here and you'll have just some limited uh, configurations here that are easily uh, you know uh, that you can, you can access easily you know and change and update cool that's it for this video, hope you learned something of it and uh, see you in the next time.